Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens of Once Upon a Game, and today I'm going to take the shrink off my Kickstarter copy of The Goonies Adventure Card Game by Albano, Albino Dragon. Uh, being a uh, teenager in the 80s, um, you know, when The Goonies came out, saw it, loved it, you know, saw it several times in the theater. Uh, so when the game was announced on Kickstarter, I was kind of shocked because it seems like such an older property to pick up. But seeing as us uh, kids of the 80s are now uh, the adults buying games, I guess they're mining it. That's why the uh, legendary uh, Encounters Alien uh, game has been so popular. The um, uh, you know the Star Trek series is so popular. Um, even Thunderbirds, which is probably a little bit before my time originally, uh, when it was on TV anyway, was so popular. So um, looks like looks like everything old is new again. And uh, this one, you know, watch the video on it. It looked it actually looked really cool, and it was a reasonably priced Kickstarter, and it has finally arrived today. I'm uh, excited to see what's inside. Uh, it's using it's officially licensed, so uh, this is artwork. But uh, you'll see in a minute the cards uh, and everything are actually from uh, using photos from the movie, which normally I do not like. Um, but in this case, I'm gonna make an exception. You can see there uh, the various players: uh, Data, Mouth, Junk, Mikey. Um, so you got. Uh, Oh, that's cool. Custom meeple there. Um, I don't remember. I haven't watched this movie in so long. Uh, I have watched the music video, and it was uh, uh, good enough for me and probably good enough for you. But, uh, you know, Cindy Lauper's a cool two-part video. Same song, two parts. Um, just check it on YouTube. I know it's there. So uh, i going to open the shrink here for the first time. Let's see what you actually get inside. Uh, I've I believe this is going to be at retail soon. Um, I hope so. Hope it wasn't one and done. Um, it's a nice little box, about twelve inches, about twelve inches square. So, um, see what we can see. It's designed by Ben Pinchback and Matt Riddle. And uh, like I said, it's officially licensed. Uh, Warner Brothers Entertainment gave them the license to produce this game. And we'll see what we got going here. It plays one to four in about 30 to 45 minutes. All right, so we've got a rule book as always. And it is full color. It's got some great pictures of the group. The gang here from the movie. It's so funny now because I mean, a lot of you uh, have seen these actors now grown up, obviously. Uh, Sean Astin in The Lord of the Rings. Um, that's 16 page rule book. Um, oh, what's his name? Um, uh, Brolin. Josh Brolin uh, was in this. He was the he was the older teen, um, and he uh, <clears throat> is you know a well known actor in his own right. So, uh, father of James Brolin, or son of James Brolin. His father is James Brolin. So. Anyway, you get a 16-page rule book, counting the cover in the back. It's about 14 pages of text. Um, pretty decent print, a lot of good uh, visual examples. Interspersed with stills from the movie. Very cool. A lot of stuff. Let's see what we can do. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so we got some. Uh, we got token board one. We got so you got booby traps. They come up, I know you stack these and you're looking for treasure and you have to do, by playing cards, you get to search through locations and find the treasure. And you want to avoid the booby traps and get the treasure token. So, reasonably thick. Pop up pretty, pretty standard war game pieces. And what you'll do is you'll search the location. You'll have to shuffle these, these tiles like so. And then I know that you, I think you search a location and, oh, got a booby trap. Add one obstacle to this location. So that's how these work anyway. So we've got a set of those, there's three. We've got these, so there's five uh, locations. Um, three sets of tiles and then got some multipliers here for the various uh, items you're collecting. So, oh wow, that's a, that's a wasted opportunity. 
I mean, I know they printed what they needed to, but uh, it seems like they could have found something to print on there. So as it is, you have, these are your times three stacks for your different resources that you're collecting. Uh, but then these are just blank tiles. So knock yourself out with them. All right, so you got your one cool laser cut custom meeple that shows the group. I assume that's what that is, based on the figures. The one thing is, I forget the giant's name. Oh, I forget his name. It's very cool. I mean, it's very well cut and very detailed, but it also looks extremely fragile. So, I can see these guys breaking off pretty easily. But, for what it is, and getting it included in the game, it's pretty cool. So, anyway, that's what that is. Yeah, very neat. Just, ooh, makes me nervous. It's gonna break. It is wood, but, uh, and the game is a card game. So, looks like you got a nice uh, formed storage tray for cards and these counters when they're punched. And uh, that's where it goes in there. All right. All players win when the treasure of each of the five locations is found and a ship has been discovered. All players lose if a fifth obstacle is added, a fifth Fratelli card, the family that's hunting you, is added to the encounter area or the last encounter card is drawn. So you will be doing encounters. This is the encounter deck. We can't get this open. It does not have a pull string for opening, so we'll have to gingerly hack at it with a knife to get those open. Take a quick look. They are look like standard sized cards, which is always nice. If you use penny sleeves, you'll be able to just you know sew them away. Of course, now I get static from all the little plastic. Lots of fun. So, the various encounter cards. There's Chunk, uh, Swine Willy, the gang. Um, you know, they actually do have a linen finish to them. You can catch that before. It's actually a nice linen finish because it's not overdone and grippy, which I hate when the cards like won't you know just won't come apart because they want to stick together. You have Fratelli cards that can come up. So you do these encounters and the Fratelli cards you don't want. And then we got some location resolution cards, the restaurant. And we got the Chester Copper Pot. And somehow we go from one, two to four. Four is a skeleton organ. Show me the girl plays. I forget her name. I think I see the movie again now. Three is the well. Five is the water slot. Oh, what a great movie. A lot of good memories. All right, so we got a Goonies card, which I guess is just a collectible card, maybe. It's very cool. Maybe that's play something in the game. I don't know. Some more art. I guess that's for the ship. Oh, Andy. Oh, now I know everybody's name. Nice flashback there. So we got Andy, Brand, Chunk, Data, Mikey, Mouth. Steph. Oh, wow. Because, see, like, you guys know her uh, uh, from Raising Hope and a lot of other shows. Uh, that's pretty cool. All right. These are, I do not know, event cards of some sort. But they're all really cool. And then player uh, reference cards. So that's that deck. And then these are the cards you're going to draw. I know, you're trying to, I know you're trying to draw these cards and match sets. You know, it was several months ago that I ordered this and last paid attention to it. It actually seems like it came fairly quick for a Kickstarter. So good job to them there. So let's see what we're doing here. We're having fun with it's getting a little cold here. So we're getting, obviously the static electricity is starting to build up. So I know you've got various location cards that you draw and then they have these different artifacts on them. Um, and you're trying to collect sets of these to do different things. So it definitely plays from one to four. It's a cooperative game. There's no 
There is no competition. For some reason, they've got one, two, and then four. It's kind of interesting because it's in this stack too. So uh, I don't know why that it doesn't matter. I mean, everybody's going to sort them and shuffle them anyway. So these are the stack pack. So very nice artwork. Very clear icons. Uh, it says it's ages 14 and up. That would just depend on how mature you are or how mature your kids are. But if they've ever watched the movie that are decent in the games, you could probably go a little lower than that. But uh, anyway, so you get uh, you get the cards, you get these counters, you get the rule book, and you get this really cool meeple that's maybe stronger than I'm giving it credit for. But uh, that is what is inside the Goonies adventure card game from Bino Dragon. Thanks for watching.